Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior Online. Today it is time to bring the Hunchback 2C to the battlefield because I wanted to play something that has a big impact on the battlefield. So therefore we are taking two Ultra Auto Cannon 20s and we're gonna mount them on the high mounted shoulder uh, hard points here. And it's beautiful, it's just great guys. We have good range, decent range, we have massive firepower, we have a medium mag that can bear two auto cannons at the same time and it can shoot them at the same time without ghost heat because the Hunchback 2C has an HSL quirk for it. It's a heat scale limit quirk, especially, specifically for the Ultra Auto Cannon 20. And if I could find it, I would show it to you. It's down here. Ultra Auto Cannon 20 HSL plus one. That means normally you would get a big heat penalty when you fire two of them at the same time. That's for balance reasons, but we can shoot all of them at the same time, dealing 40 damage. And if we double tap, that is uh, shooting twice in succession, we deal 80 damage. And that's not quite pinpoint, but if the enemies are static, if they are not moving, and if you're shooting at big hitboxes, then uh, you will most likely blow up a side torso or maybe even core a mech out completely with the 80 damage that you bring to the table. Now, we are running a Klein XL Engine 200 that brings us to 64 kph, which is not that great, but I would say it is good enough for the build. The XL engine, or the 200 rated engine, requires us to take two additional double heat sinks to make the mech viable. On top of that, we have nothing in terms of cooling, so the build is spicy. It is really toasty, guys. We run with 10 double heat sinks, eight coming in the engine, two external ones, and that is, again, the minimum that a mech requires to run. Therefore, be careful when you are in the fight. Don't go overzealous with the Ultra Auto Cannon 20s. You can probably shoot two or three Alpha Strikes with double taps easily, but then What's your heat limit? Uh, we also got a bit of ammo, but honestly not too much. We only, quote-unquote, only run seven tons. I would love to have another ton in order to not run out of ammo. But in most of the games, I would say 90 to 95% of the games, you should be fine with the ammo count that you have. And I usually go for the, you know, the more likely scenario than preparing for the unlikely in a game like that. Therefore, I think 7 tons is just fine. This build is very much on the edge on everything. We even had to strip down the arm armor in order to get the weight for the mech. But if you get into a good position in and have an enemy right in front of you, you just click the button twice and enemies will blow up in pieces. Now, let's quickly talk about the skills before we get into the game, shall we? We have definitely magazine capacity for the reason that I just told you. And then, of course, the Ultra Auto Cannon Jam Duration Notes. The Ultra Auto Cannons will jam occasionally and having a lower uh, jam duration is so damn important in order to get them unjammed and then keep firing again. We also want as many heat gen points as possible while we are going down these paths. So therefore I was taking those, I was taking those here and that's again because our relatively poor heat management naturally. I had some spare points left over when I was finished so the survivability is not one of my first priorities. Usually I go for this uh, as the last points that I'm going to invest, but it's really nice to have some extra armor hardening on the left side of the survivability node. But more importantly, I wanted heat containment and cool run. I wanted radar deprivation. That's kind of important for me as well because it helps you, you know, ducking back to cover. Enemies will lose the locks faster. They will lose interest in you, find another target, and then you just pop out again and shoot them into the side. That's what I usually like to do. And then... Also pretty important, we're going for a double cool shot build today with uh, double artillery as our augmentation. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing Termaline Desert. We are playing, uh, what's that, Skirmish? All right, let's go. Mm, I think I'm going to go to the Echo 5 area. Uh, a lot of my friends are coming from this side and we will probably meet up in Echo 6. So straight ahead and then this is going to be probably the fighting zone. Probably Echo 6, mostly into Delta 6. So let's take a look around. I think I need to, however, stay away from the front line. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to take it slow here. We're going to take it safe. I want to not get shot to pieces very early on. My shoulders are so big and all of my firepower sits there. I don't want to lose that early on by some long range with Gauss, large lasers, PPCs, whatever. So, um, yeah, we're gonna move over here and then we're gonna cross over to Echo 5. Uh, where are you going, friends? I don't know, I really don't know. I mean, in general, we only, ooh, that's a problem. Uh, yeah, that's a big problem. We only run 64 kph, which is not that fast for a clan mech. It's kind of a salt mech speed in that category. Uh, but the sniper up on the sniper hill is, as I was saying, a big problem. He might get an angle on me and soften me up before I can actually get the first shot out. But again, I want to get to the Echo 6 area. 
because I assume that the fight is going to unfold right here. Also, we got cover, which is great. Alrighty, here we go. Here we are. Watching this gap. Very important. And I am... Yep. I wanted to say I am where I want to be. But now I am. I got cover from the sniper hill. I am fine. I got hit once, which is fair. Alright, so lots of long range happening. One with quad ACs, other has PPCs. Wait, what is going on? There's something going on. We got a piranha as well. Yeah, just come over here, buddy. I have some... Some two good arguments <laughs> to go up against you. Um, Not good. Dude, that's my spot. Okay. It's taken. It's taken. Oh, what are you being shot at with? Wait, what? On the piranha? Oh, there you are. That's a lot of people. I have the feeling my people are not in a good spot. I want to get out of here. Guys, Delta 6, brace for impact. Delta 6. Go for Delta 6. I have the feeling they don't understand me. And I have the feeling that we are getting shot to pieces by the snipers. If you cannot fight the snipers, get out of their line of sight. Just run away. I know I took a lot of damage here, but that's for, for a better cause. And that is getting into a better fighting position. Like this here. Alright, Atlas, you're going in, I'm going with you. Let's do it. Uh, Alright. Oh, wait. We got Adi. Holy crapperoni. They have snipers everywhere! Wow! Their positioning is top notch. Incredible. Really. Really, really, really. That is insanely good. Holy macaroni. That was so damn good. I mean, we got some damage out there. Hello. He's not aware. And I'm so jammed. Alright, let's try to get the Jag again. Jag is out of his position. Um, sure. We need to hold this here. We gotta really hide in our hidey hole. These guys are probably going around. Alright, let's go over here then. That's a kill. There's a piranha. Hi. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. Alright, I'm not gonna go for it. Enemy contacts. Yeah. Enemy contacts here? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's about right, man. Enemy contacts here. That's that's exactly what I'd say. Alright, here they come. They are going to try to make a push happen, right? Are they? They 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 move around Delta 6 now. That's it. That's that's what I assumed a bit earlier, but now they are doing it. Alright, let's reinforce then. We have a pretty good position, guys. We just need to hold it. That's the thing. We have a very good position. They just need to run into us and we're gonna shoot them. Damn it. And jammed again. I don't wanna actually get hit by these MRMs so much because they have basically uh, a completely a complete weapon destruction potential. It's a lot of crit potential that they got. Lots of individual hit chances that deal a lot of damage. Uh, now we can cross. No. Oh, dude, there's a guy. There's a guy behind you. Little adder. Okay. Let's go over here. Staying on the Jaguar because I think I shot him earlier. Might have been another Jaguar. Was that Jaguar? All right. Hey, Jack. Gonna come in again? Hmm. Let's go for it, huh? That's that's a lot of damage. He is not going for me. Oh boy. He doesn't care. Uh, we got him. So three and four. Is this doable? I think it is. I think it definitely is. We need to unjam and then we're gonna go in again. Oh boy, five and five. Here comes the Corsair. Uh, he's mainly basically disarmed. I'm not jammed, I'm destroyed. My weapon is gone. I'm only down to one ultra auto cannon. That's bad. Uh, probably go for lag? I don't know. Oh no! I'm so sorry. He's dead. Uh, he was a one touch anyway. So, mm, I am really sorry. Urban Mech is basically out of the game. He's down to a laser AMS. Don't care about him, really. We go for the big dudes. He has a guy. Yeah. I know I'm gonna get hit now, but it's gonna be fine. Delta CT, that's what I'm saying. Alright, we have cover now. I should not go for Urbi. I have limited ammo. Um, that's not gonna work. At the same time. It's the only target I have. I mean, we got him. But what now? These snipers are gonna be a huge pain in the butt. <laughs> like a huge pain in the butt. 
Man, I'm really sorry for that team kill. I think I didn't even deal, uh, dealt so much damage here. Um, but yeah. Ooh, where did the fight... No, wait a second. Was it the sniper who got a kill here? Oh god, that's a problem. I don't know how to engage those dudes. They are taking us apart. I have the feeling that we will actually lose the game. And that's because of their superior positioning there. I'm saying hi to this guy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We have him under pressure. Um, I don't know. We can brawl him to death. I need that to hit the left side, buddy. He's probably fresh. Okay. I'm over here. Uh, right side? Okay. And that is it. I'm jammed. I'm done. It's as much as I could have done here. However, we dealt about a thousand damage in this game. Holy crap. That's insane. Now it is on my team to actually get the job done. We have an adder going in. That's really nice. You got the sniper down. Perfect. Holy crap, man. Ten and nine. Um... Can you get the Stealth Thanatos? Yeah, there was a Stealth Thanatos in Fox 6. Fox 6, Golf 6. Yeah, oh, I think, I think the guys don't hear me. Yeah, he, they got him now. They got him now. That's a large laser warhammer. Oh god, he gets another kill. Man, I really wish I could see how damaged he was from my attack earlier. But I can't because of his Stealth Armor. He gets another kill! <gasps> what? Dude! Dude, attack him, attack him, attack him. Center torso. I think I hit him good there. Oh no. Are we gonna lose this? Good torso twisting. Bait him, medium laser, and then the largest. This is it. Oh, this is not it. Wow. We lost the game. But it was such a good one. I really enjoyed every single part of it. Holy macaroni. That was GG, guys. GG. Wow. So, yeah, we dealt... Two team damage. Two. And get one team kill. Alright. So we got 10 components destroyed. We got 3 KMDDs with a killing blow, 9 assist, and 958 damage done. 370 taken. And Xenobeast, I think, got a lot of kill here. Yeah, right. That's 5 kills. Sitting on a sniper hill, dealing 666 damage. That was the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty. Second game of the day. We are playing the Grimplexus. We are playing Domination, I think. Oh yeah, it is Domination. Um, shall we go left side? Echo 7? What about that, guys? It would be absolutely fantastic. Because, yeah, lots of lovely Ducker. That's what I'm running here. Uh, because I want to get to my enemies as quickly as possible. I don't really want to uh, participate in any NASCAR scenario here. And, I mean, we have everybody on the left side anyway. Might as well do a left side push. What about that, guys? Would be absolutely, again, fantastic. Going to Fox 7 early is uh, probably the best way to get into a good upfront position. And then we can decide from there where we want to end up. Oh, uh, that's a commando. Already where I want to be. Huh. I'm not really fit for fighting commandos here. It's a UAV. I probably should take that. Thank you, guys. That was amazing. So let's see if the commando is still there. It is. Hello. I should have double tapped right away. Man, that was a good first shot. But that guy is going to go out now. He's going to run at this point, right? I want to see how much damage I dealt. That's a quite a good chunk. Ah, thought he would... He would disengage to the left side, but he didn't. So we're gonna wait out the artillery, and then we're gonna take the spot that I wanted to have. Thank you for not being here anymore. But those guys probably know that a bunch of us are, you know, moving over to the side here. So we're gonna watch this. This is a very common peak spot. Uh, I mean, if the Warhammer is going there, I don't know about it. He might just pop up, and now I shoot him in the back. I don't like that. Hmm, let's stay here. Uh, the commando is still running about. It was yelled, same thing, in the peak spot. I see another light mech right there. Huh? Was it Gulf 7? I think it was Gulf 7. I looked at the minimap and there was something moving. I am not sure if I should go there. See, peeking up is a problem for me because I have these broad shoulders that are easily to, or easy to target. And there's most of my firepower sitting in. So I don't want to lose it early on. Therefore, I'm going to stay put for the moment. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's go here. Let's go to the left uh, side. Foxtrot 7. Uziel is pushing up a little bit. Actually, it's Warhammer. Alright. We also got a... Cyclops go. Oh god, that's a big guy. Why is the Corsair on the flank? Uh, it seems that there's more. 
All right, let's go to the other side then. These guys are seemingly holding their left side, which is good. Because we know where they are now and we have range. That's a rotary autocannon AMS build on the Corsair and I want it. All right, let's go for it. Can I? I could. Holy macaroni. That's crazy. I'm gonna drop... No, I don't drop anything. It's just standing there. Um, I'll take it, I guess. All right. So, he's still here, but I'm thinking he is not really dangerous anymore, actually. He is out of the game, that's what he is. Ooh, this feels bad, man, I'm sorry. Let's go for the missile boat next. He has a guy. Hi, Uziel, what about you? Um, I, I wanted to shoot again so badly. Oh, hello. All right, we're hot. I'm gonna pop the cool shot because I wanna be able to fire right again. That catapult is dead, that's what it is. All right, cool, let's make a push happen. Uh, next up is the Timber Wolf on the side, on the center as well. Oh, he's gonna die. Ah, uh, not quite. All right, so he's still alive, but this is crazy. Ow, I'll take that. That is the Timber down. We have three and one. Guys, aggression. Let's go. Uh, I gotta admit, I shouldn't fire anymore. <laughs> uh, the Bane of the Barra. It is heat and terrain. Heat and terrain, both of it. So I think I have enough heat for a nice double tap, so let's get into a fight. You know, I'm gonna go up on the high ground. I know it's a risky maneuver, but I'll take it anyway. So there's a guy right here. Oh, little guy didn't like it. Um, let's see. There's a guy. So, that's damage. Uh, he's dead. Alright. It's five and two. Yeah, we spiraled the, the aggression quite hard here. Alright, let's back into the main fight. Just crossing right on top because I want to be in the fight as quickly as possible. Do I want to go for a flea? It's really hard to hit a guy like that. I don't know. Everybody's ignoring the little dude. Should probably try to hit his legs as much as possible. But you can see the damage output on the flea is quite minimal. Ah, uh, see. Not all of the weapons are actually hitting. <laughs> Need to lead a bit more. Yeah, that's it. This guy is really hard to catch with an Ultra Auto Cannon 20, but I think we have it in the back mostly, so we're gonna have some fun hunting that guy. He might kill me, actually. If I'm in a 1v1 against that dude, he's gonna kill me because he has more mobility and uh, my damage is coming in bursts. It's down here, right? Yeah, it's the flea. All right. So let's see if I can snipe that guy. Ah, oh, almost. Uh, that was a hit on the leg. And that is a hit on the flea. Down he goes. We are 3 and 11, or 11 and 3. However, we are still not catching or getting the, the, the zone here. Which means somebody's here. Somebody is near. And I just need to find out where it is. Somebody, probably a shadow cat. It's always a shadow cat. Uh, no, it's not. It is... I cannot fire anymore. <laughs> I wanted to hit that dude, the wolf hound, but I'm like, uh, nothing is coming out of my barrels. I should probably see a doctor. <laughs> No, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> All right. Cool. It worked. Yeah, we we really got that Corsair. He was, honestly, he was probably pushing out too far. Then realized, oh crap, I'm in a really bad position. And then he didn't get any backup from his friends. And then he was just confused. I feel really sorry for that guy. But he maneuvered himself into that situation. So we got eight killing blow. We got eight assists, four KMDDs with 728 damage done and 81 taken and only one team damage. Hey, I'm proud of myself. And that's it for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you like what I'm doing here and you want to support, the best way to do it is on Patreon. Link is down below in the description. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.